Immigration reform kind of hit a snag. Your thoughts, why you couldn't support this time around? Well, this time around, uh, significant progress was made on the immigration reform bill, but frankly, uh, there still were provisions that would have allowed those who have illegally entered the country to obtain citizenship uh, and, and, not, and, to, and to gain an advantage toward that over those who have not illegally entered the country. And I think we could have fixed those provisions had we been able to spend a little more time on it and get it done. But the bottom line is there, were, there was another problem as well, which was the border enforcement, which had to be first, uh, I think in everybody's agreement, was not adequately put into place. And there were high levels of concern that I thought were appropriate that the way the border provisions were in place, uh, President Obama could just uh, make a declaration, if you will, that border security was appropriately handled and then we would move ahead. And uh, those kinds of further restrictions that we brought forward were rejected. You have a voice. Um, you are one of the leaders on this issue on Capitol Hill. Whatever you say, they're going to listen to. What's your message? Well, my message is that first and foremost, we must have immigration reform. Uh, it is critical not just to our agri agricultural industry, but to the economy of the United States in general. And secondly, there must be some key elements present. First, we've got to have adequate border enforcement assured, and we can do that. We know what to do. Second, those who have already illegally entered the country may move into a legal status in a guest worker system, but may not be allowed a pathway to citizenship that gives them an advantage over those who did not break the law. And we can put that kind of a system together as well. And then finally, there are a few other provisions, such as making sure that employers have a safe harbor so they know those they are hiring are legal, and making sure that U.S. citizens have the first right of refusal for jobs.